Hey everybody, Konaji here. Welcome back to Formula 1 2019. It's time for our final race of the first season of our career, as we have been with Alfa Romeo for, sorry, Alfa Romeo Sauber, for a full season now, and uh, what a season it has been. Many ups, many downs. It's actually been, I think, one of my most enjoyable Codemasters Formula 1 experiences ever, uh, even though we did have the early, let's call it, drama of the, the constant rainfall, it ended up shaping into a really good season. Uh, I think it's a shame that the, the constant rainfall scared away a lot of people because they missed out on something great. Our development for the season has been pretty darn good. We're not even really on this chart, so I'll go to the other screen to show you. The performance comparison, we end the season basically with the fourth strongest team in Formula One, which is pretty good. You know, this is a team that could be developed into a top two team pretty easily moving forward. I threw in a couple of easy developments for the end of the season there, engine power and DRS, just because they were one weekers and I knew I would have them here, just in case we're not back with Alf Sauber moving forward as we move into Abu Dhabi. Not usually my strongest track, but somewhere that I do generally okay with. Pretty, It's a pretty lengthy race here, so there's lots of time to, uh, to get things done. We are going to have pretty darn new components here. I'm going to go ahead and already throw in this new ICE even before practice because it has so little use on it that it'll be fine. I think everything else will be good. Yeah, we'll go for the one that's 49%. Why not? Doesn't really matter. We got a new gearbox this week, so we don't have to worry about that. So it should be a pretty straightforward weekend. We are locked in where we are in the constructor standings as well as the driver standings. So I can do no wrong here. But what I really want to do is try to impress Ferrari. I really want to drive for Ferrari next season, but that requires getting a, a contract offer from them. I've not gone through a contract offer in this game at the end of the season yet, so I don't know how exactly that works. But I'm hoping that they present an offer. Usually, in previous games, what we've gotten is, here's an offer from, just for example, McLaren, Williams, and Racing Point. Like, you only get one above you. And that would be pretty disappointing. That would be pretty disappointing. So, I don't know. I'm just going to hope and see what happens moving forward. Alright, here we are out on track in Abu Dhabi. Just threw a basic setup in the car. So I didn't really know ooh, what it would want. Apparently it wants a little bit different brake bias, that's for sure. So I might need to uh, do some adjusting here, but let's get our bearings straight. This is actually a really tricky, a really tricky track to learn. Requires a lot of finesse. It requires a very, I would say, uh, a, a two-sided setup, one that's really fast down these straightaways, but also one that navigates some pretty slow speed turns as well. And those are two things that don't like to agree with each other around the track. Uh, I, I generally prefer a car that boogies down the straightaways here to one that is maybe perfect in the tighter turns. This will be this will be a passing score, but I definitely need to improve. Uh, I do hope you all enjoyed the race in Interlagos. A lot of great, uh, a lot of great feedback to that one. Certainly, there was there was one lap in particular that people really enjoyed, and I'm glad that I'm glad it showed through. I was worried, I was worried it would just look like it was just any old lap. Ooh, that was too slow. I was worried it would look just like any old lap that, I don't know, it, it, it almost seemed like I just I just flipped a switch and everything was easier that lap, but in reality I was just like hyper focusing and, and downright driving my heart out for a lap there to make that happen and it actually seemed to show, show through and people actually enjoyed it, so that's cool. I didn't, I honestly didn't expect to have that positive of a reaction to that race, so that's cool. Right, let's 
the what we need for here, trying to get a good feel for what I'm lacking in the car. Last lap, it seemed like I was lacking in stability. I'm definitely lacking in braking stability. I probably have too much pressure and too much front bias. Let me see what that's at. It's at 52%, so no. Oh, I missed TRS. <laughs> that's dumb. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't really know what it what it would want. Maybe it's just a pressure issue on the brakes. I could be locking the rears a little bit on entry as well. Well, I was really dumb to miss the DRS. Not that I think we were going to get a perfect score this lap anyway. And not that that really matters, because we actually can't use these points at all. Uh, if, if we... if we choose to not stay. There might be a scenario where we we have to stay. If all they offer us is racing point, then I have to stay because racing point is not enough of an upgrade and I'd prefer to stay in a car that I'm familiar with. I would also love to get into a car that has mirrors. That's pretty high up my priority list. Much like the ridiculous restraints that I have on you know, shopping for a, a house to live in. I have ridiculous I have ridiculous needs in a in a car. Missed that gate. That is it for this program. Uh, ridiculous needs for a car in the game here. And that is just mirrors that I can see in a one screen setup. But I don't you don't get to preview that. I mean I guess I could go into a, just a regular single player one race race to see, but it's not like we get to shop around for cars next season. Alright, I, I think I have a lot of work to do on a setup, so I'm gonna go off and and fiddle around and see if I can get a bit more comfort. Alright, we are now in the evening session here. Practice number two. Got the, the medium compound on the car. We're gonna see how it's shaping up. I tried to uh, loosen up the suspension a little. I felt like I had the rear end a little too stiff and maybe that was making it want to uh, slide the back end. I definitely did have my brake pressures set pretty far off from what I like. So let's just see what kind of times it has in it. I do feel like this is one of those tracks where the acclimatization program doesn't give me a lot of information because I don't tend to agree with their line around the track. I think I run a lot more aggressive on the curbs and whatnot here than than they claim you should. But I also just take some of the turns in a, at a different angle. We're close on time right now. I don't know what to expect out of the car here. I don't know if I should expect well, I, I didn't expect to run so wide right there, that's for sure. That is gonna... that's gonna can this lap. I guess the brake pressure change was a lot to, uh, a lot to learn going down into there at 200 and something miles an hour. Oh yeah, I, I can give it a lot more brake pedal now. Well, the good news is, other than missing the turn there, the car does feel a lot happier. I want it to be good in Sector 3 as well, though that was nearly a crash. This seems to be a repeating trend. I always really struggle with practice and even qualifying here, but I tend to race pretty good here. I don't know why... I don't know why there's such a big separation. It might be just like I said, it's just a hard track to learn. What, no discouraging message, Jeff? I almost look forward to those now. You've got me programmed to... to like being yelled at. What have you done to me, Jeff? Turned me into some kind of freak. Not the best line through there. Gets the power down really well out of there, though. Which is nice. Alright, let's 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 break at the correct mark down here. That would be helpful. So 
around here. And I can almost put to the floor when we first get on the brakes and then just slowly lift off of the brake pedal as we reduce speed. That's one of the interesting parts about driving cars with this much downforce is at high speeds the downforce is pushing the tires into the ground and you actually have a lot more available braking force and then as you slow down you lose some of that available braking force and you lock them up a lot to think about with these things a little bit tight through there but not too bad sorry understeer this is formula one not nascar Boy, we just barely squeaked this lap in with a good enough time. I keep running wide in one. I gotta clean that up. Yeah, I think I've kind of shifted the balance of the car. I was previously feeling like the back end was not under me enough. Now I feel like I need a bit more front end. Go. I've had to stay in mode 3 the whole time here just to stay on pace. I might have to drop down to 2 in the last sector to conserve. A little bit late on the brakes there, but it held well. That's encouraging for being able to race hard in the race. That's a good turn to be able to dive down in as late as you can. This one, it's much harder to get a move completed here, I feel. Because this section's so one groove. Another instance of losing the nose. Too much time in between pedals there. That's another aspect of driving these cars is... You don't want to overlap the pedals, but you also don't want to have dead time. You don't want to have any time during your lap that you're not either on the gas or on the brake. You want... You want to be on one or the other. Oh, we missed this lap! Ah, oh, frick! Man, I guess our pace is just not very good here. I have been messing up quite a bit throughout these laps. So I'm not... I'm not very surprised by that. Gained a ton of time in Sector 1 this time. So I guess I'm just learning. Again, these scores don't matter, really. This probably will be the last time you're seeing practice programs as part of these videos. After a season, you're seeing the same thing over and over. They, they don't change in any way, shape, or form season to season. Honestly, I get pretty bored of them. So I don't want to stick you through that boredom as we move forward. I hit the wrong button. But what I wanted was engine mode. I do have the ability now to set up a mic so I can talk to Jeff. That might be something I do for the upcoming season. Try and bring back some of that functionality, at least, so I can tell him to shut up. Which I think is what he picked up there. Spun the tires bad. I'm in mode 4. Just barely got it. That's still not enough points. Well, if nothing else, we should have a lot of tire data on a run here for doing all five laps. And it's probably going to be pretty... It's going to show that we're pretty high on tire wear. Higher than we probably are, once I get a little bit more dialed in. As of now, feels bad, man. 
fronts are very warm. See, I definitely think I need to try to get the front end working a little better. Even through there, I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting on the front end to come around. I'm kind of asking the wrong people because you all are the ones that have stuck around, especially if you're watching the practice programs. Um, but if there is anything you'd like to see different for next season, do let me know. I probably will be changing the difficulty mode, or the difficulty level. Depends on where we land. We do land at Ferrari, or one of the top teams. Then uh, I will change the difficulty to suit to make sure we're not just dominating. Well, good pace, but I think I still got some work to do here. Here we are at the beautiful Yaz Island circuit where qualifying is about to begin. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the action. Is it really an island? I don't know that it's an island. <laughs> this is this is news to me. Yes, here we go, ready for Q1. In Abu Dhabi, I'm hoping things go our way today, but uh, honestly, it was not a overwhelmingly positive practice. It kind of, uh, kind of was middle of the road most of the time. I feel like, as per usual here, pretty decent race car, pretty bad qualifying car, not a lot of one lap pace. When I try to push the car to 110% like you need to in qualifying it, doesn't respond very well. Well, let's see what it does here today with uh, all the power available to us. Maybe we won't have to push it through the turns as much. Push it through here, get down to this curb. That's really important. Getting that right side tire on the curb. Hopping the curb there is very important. It's legal as long as you don't hit the pylon on the inside, then they'll call you. You can kind of sneak your tire over the sausage. I'm losing a bit of pace down the straightaways because of my aero package, but hopefully, hopefully it won't be too big of a drawback. That DRS. I kind of hate it when there's a DRS moment at the same time as a gear shift. Both hands have to do something different. That's why I could never play the drums. Bit more of the sausage there that I'd like. This is a big important one right here. Getting down to the inside curb, we did. And then let it float out wide here, keeping the left side tire on the curbs. So it's legal. A lot of this track is just finding out what parts of the track you can extend legally. It's a big part of it. Currently a tenth behind Vettel. That's that's pretty sporty. Uh, we may have to do another run. Certainly can't do two laps on a tire though. So that's that's it for this. Whew, I'm out of breath. <laughs> it's it's an exhausting track. It really is. There's there's a lot going on here. Whew. Okay, well, yeah, we'll, we'll see if that time holds, is what I'm saying. Not too shabby, P7, P10 for Q1. Racing point very quick here, so that's going to be interesting. Mercedes and, actually, Leclerc and Hamilton. Not Mercedes and Ferrari, just one of each. Went for the mediums in Q1, so they certainly have a lot more speed available. That was no perfect lap by me. There, there was time to be had out there. Oh, one more question. Just one more question. For next season, do you want to see all of qualifying in the videos? Or do you just want to see, like, the actual qualifying lap? Whether that's Q1, Q2, or Q3. Probably Q3. Uh, do you just want to see the one lap and then the race? Because I, like, I feel like the videos are already longer than a lot of people can manage to watch during the week. So I don't want to make them too long if it's content that you really just don't even need 
So uh, let me know your opinion on that for next season. Again, probably asking the wrong people, but hey, you gotta you gotta keep the people happy that are sticking around too. Get to this curve. Very nice. A bit foggy out. Perfect. Go ahead and really nailed that through there. Little wheel spin, but nothing too bad. Catch our breath down this long straightaway. Speed looks good. Just gonna be on the brakes a little bit earlier this time. I feel like I was pushing the nose wide. Don't want to hit that curb so much. Over sausaged. Brakes again. Really chased to the back end through there. That's probably cost us two or three tenths this lap. And I was late on the brakes there. Just gonna cost us all the way through here. Pushing it there. I think this is gonna be a, a two run Q2. First part of the lap was so good, it really fell apart late. Yeah, six tenths down on the clear, that's not gonna do it. All right, we'll load it back up, put new tires on it and try again. That sets our our goals a bit different. We know we're not gonna be a Q3 contender, but we just wanna make it there. Look at this curb, we're out on another lap here in Q2. Set a better sector one so far. Which is where I've been pretty good, so that's that's good news. Feel like we got the power down a little bit better right there. Not about the same actually. But yeah, we are two tenths up. We're currently P9, but a lot of people are gonna turn in additional times here. Okay, was that better? I'm curious. Not, not really. I thought it was going to be better, but it kind of just ended up being the same. Float, float, float through here. Grab that pylon to the inside. Aggressive there, but we picked up a good amount of time. Bit wide here again. I'm going to try not to let it carry all the way through here like I did last lap. Lost the back end? No! That's going to be us out of Q2. Gosh darn it. I mean, I have another lap in the bank, but... I kind of doubt the tires are going to be good enough. That's too bad. That was such a good lap, too. That would have been us through plus some, I believe. These tires were losing three tenths a lap, so I'm not sure that we're gonna have it up in it. We'll see. Give it everything I got here. You hear how much we're struggling for grip there. We're not horrifically off right now. We are still ninth, but I think people are finishing their laps still, so we'll probably get knocked down. We just gotta try and get up again. Gosh, that felt so much better out of there, but it just wasn't. Ooh, clipped the pile on this time. That is dangerous. They will call you on that. A totally different line this time around. Much better. 
Oh, I think we're through either way. So we're the last car across. Boy, all that was kind of for nothing. <laughs> That's funny. I thought I thought for sure people were gonna better their times, but they didn't. Okay, well. That's, uh, oh, oh god, I've just realized what I've done to myself. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll be starting the race on very used tires, so I guess we're gonna be short pitting, huh? Well, okay, that, mm, mm-hmm. And we didn't even need to finish that lap. Oh man, I could have bailed on the lap and, and my other tires would have been the set. Oh, why am I thinking about this now? <laughs> Oh, man. I'm internally kicking myself for that. That... that really... that really sucks. <laughs> uh, alright, well... This is Q3. Let's just go out and... run ourselves a, a, a sporty time. See where we start, and you, you never know what might happen in the race. Maybe... shirt pitting will be the way to go. Maybe it'll rain in the desert. I don't think it'll rain. Oh, that's... That's the best line I've had through turn one yet. I can feel there's extra speed right here. Yeah, I need a little extra brakes down into the chicane. For sure. Not the world's best exit there. I really wish they could get you a delta time to go against. I realize we don't have session data, but... We've run enough laps during the weekend that they should... Know... What kind of time you're supposed to run. We even do a projected qualifying run, so... You should have that time to go against. I'm almost certain that the real F1 drivers will have that. That was big. I don't know how much we lost there, but it was significant. Then a heck of a run through there. Tires are hot, hot, hot. That was messy. That was, that was really messy. Trying too hard. That's gonna be it though, we don't have any new tires to use, so. Might be a P10 start. With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Hamilton, Vettel, and Sergio Perez. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Will do. Uh, P9, you know, that's all right. I, I really ballsed it up there in Q2 and Q3. I made two really bad calls there. Well, I guess in Q3 I just overdrove. Overdrove it too much, but you know p9 is is where the team is expecting us to be. How about uh, Lucas there in fourth place? Perez in third a lot of a lot of interesting positions here for the race to start with We'll see what penalties get divvied out. There's usually a lot for the last race of the season as people have run through their parts I've run through uh, the amount of oxygen in my system. That was, a, that was a pretty intense qualifying session, even if it wasn't great. That was, uh, that was certainly a lot of, a lot of effort in that one. I'm nervous. I feel like that bar down there in the red is, is not high enough for them to make us an offer. It makes me worried. But we'll see. We will see. Well done. That was a good qualifying performance. Thanks, Emma. I'll see you all tomorrow for the race. Thanks for watching.